this is problem number 23 and here you are asked to find the value of uh, n which is basically here it is related with the confidence interval so the confidence interval so there are few steps for this so confidence interval of mu of normal distribution when sigma square is known so if you know what is sigma square then you can find out what is the confidence interval for mu for the normal distribution so this methodology only works for when you know what is sigma square so the step one you identify what is gamma so here gamma that is confidence level so confidence level which is here 95 percent that is 0.95 step 2 corresponding to this gamma you see what is your value of c so corresponding to 0.95 it is 1.645 that can be calculated from the t distribution table sorry this is for 90% and for 95 it is 1.960 for 99% it is 2.576 and for 99.9% .9 it is 3.291 so here your C value is 1.960 so C is 1.960. Now afterwards you find out X. Sample mean. So this is sample mean. And the fourth step is find out K. Which is C sigma by square root N. So here it is. 1.960 times sigma so let it be because anyhow we are going to square it yeah okay so afterwards says that the interval the confidence interval will be x bar minus k it's a closed interval to x bar plus k so the size of the interval will be 2k so the length is equal to 2k okay now in this problem the length is given to be 10 so the maximum length is 10 okay, so this is the maximum length which is given 10 now you are asked that what is the value of uh, m okay so 2 sigma c by square root n is less than equals to 10 so if you square it you are getting 4 c square sigma square n is less than 100 so using this we will be getting n is bigger than equals to 4 c square sigma square by 100 this value is i mean i think this will come in 0.23 or 222 or something let me see i don't know so probably it will come 22 
so four times c square so c is your 1.960 times sigma square is 144 and so it is coming 22.2112 22.13 so n is bigger than this so n equals to 23 okay so this methodology will work again let me remind you this methodology will work only for when you know what is sigma square okay okay thank you